my name is Michelle with Silver Lining Daydreams. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. In today's video, we are going to go through our house and show you some of our decorations that we have up for Christmas. And we try to incorporate more of a Scandinavian minimalist theme in it. So let's get started. In the entrance, we have our wood pile here that we use for our um, wood burning stove. And uh, all we did is we just added a few sprigs of evergreen to it to just kind of make it have more of a Christmas look to it. And then down here, we removed the table that we normally have and we replaced it with some more natural elements. And that's one of the key things with a Scandinavian look is to incorporate the inside and natural elements, um, a real muted palette. So in on here, what we did is um, I asked Brad to cut a, a variety of logs that we had in different sizes so that we had varying heights. Um, we had the trees, I just added some uh, some sprigs of evergreen. And then on the candles in here, in the lanterns, these are remote control candles. So, um, and then we just put a little bit of decoration on them and had it look pretty, I think. And so that's that. Added some sprigs of evergreen throughout. A little bit of birch down here, a little bit more lights that are on a timer, and that's it. So just very natural looking and warm and cozy. On our window here, we've just been changing out the wreath to uh, fit the season. And so for right now, we have this Noel wreath up that we've had. And then I just added some pine boughs to it to make it look festive. All right, so come on in and I'll show you the rest. So coming into the front hallway here, we put these up here. Um, these are the feet from our grandson, our first grandson. And they're just adorable, says mistletoes on it. So we just, um, we love to have sentimental things up and that just makes us smile every time we see it. The other thing we added to our entrance hall is this nativity set. This is, nativity set is one that my mother made probably I think it was like 60 or 65 years ago. It was a super long time ago. She gave it to us and we absolutely love it. It is, it actually, it, there's a, um, more pieces to it. It's a larger set than this. And I originally put out everything that we have with it, but it just, it felt cluttered to me. So I just took out a few of the pieces and uh, left the, the main ones here. And we think that it looks nice, it's pretty, um, it's just very simple and we absolutely love it. The other thing we added, just again, just a, just a little bit of greenery up here just to give it that Christmas feel to it. And that's it for in here and I'll show you down the In the living room, I'm gonna show you four different little areas that we have here. But let's start with the tree first. So, to be honest with you, I had a really hard time decorating the tree this year. Normally, I would have tons of ornaments on it. Um, it would be super full and it would just have, it would just be stuffed full. And this year, because we wanted to go more simple, more Nordic looking, um, one of the aspects of that is to have a simple tree. And even though we would love to have either a, um, a real tree or having one that's more Nordic looking, that's a little bit more sparse, this is a tree that we already had. So to save money, we are just gonna use it for this year and um, we're just gonna go with it. So one of the things that um, with Scandinavian design is bringing that outside in again. And so what I did was I went in our backyard and this is boxwood and I brought that in, cut off a couple of those and I put those in. This is real pine that I had and um, I stuffed that all in there. And so I just put some of those in around about just to have a more natural look to it. And then what I also did is I chose certain um, ornaments. 
ones that were important to us or ones that kind of fit the look that we were trying to have. And I think that it turned out really well. Um, we may end up changing it a little bit next year. I don't know, maybe, you know, downsizing some of it. But for this year, I'm really happy with it. And it's probably, I don't know, maybe a third of the ornaments that it, we normally have on it. So, but I'm really happy with it. I think everything is placed well in here. And I think it's good. One of the tricks to have a more simple look when you're trying to decorate for Christmas is to remove some of your everyday items and replace it with some of the Christmas things. And that's what we did over on this area here. We replaced some of the artwork that we normally have up and then we just put some simple Christmas items in and then I also put in these um, evergreen boughs in there, some lights, a little bit of lights, a little bit of pine cones. And, um, and then this I made, this is just boxwood and then some arbavita that I had from the backyard. And I just, you know, clamped it together and put a little twist tie on there and put it up on the wall. And it just gives a little bit more greenery, fills it in without it looking too full and too, too much, you know what I mean? So again, just bringing that natural element in. And um, another thing that I did this year is we went out to, um, to the store and we just bought a really inexpensive uh, white pine tree. And I think it was like $20 and we just cut it up and then that way we're able to use these all over the house and I still have more left over. On the piano for a tablescape is just had some natural elements. Um, we had arbavita from the yard in there and then this is the pine tree that we cut up and we just put it together again to just make it real simple one of the elements also with a scandinavian design is to is the um, light and illumination and simplicity nature monochromatic so that's what we tried to have here and i think it i think it looks really pretty this little house lights up we had these tiny little deer that we put in there i just think that it looks super cute and I just think that it adds just that little bit of little bit of fun to it. Um, I try to have that in uh, a lot of the things that we do, just something that's unexpected. And it's super simple, very Christmassy, very monochromatic, and um, I really like it. And so I'll show you over to the other section. In this area here, we just wanted to have it, again, very, very simple. And we had these lights. These are battery operated lights that are on a remote and which makes it very, very easy. We just put a little bit of twine around it to give it a little bit of a, um, some more texture in there. And we put it on a bed of the um, evergreen boughs and just added a few Christmas books for the kids. And that's it. this section of the living room I just I love this corner it's so cozy so warm literally this is our wood burner um, and we just absolutely love it here so what I did for decorations is we wanted to have that simple minimal look again and we our daughter gave us these skates so I have those for decorations they're real figure skates that she picked up at a thrift store and they already happened to have some green shoelaces in it, so I was very happy with that. We put some boxwood in there and then a little bit of the evergreen sprigs. Picked this up here, it says, Oh, come let us adore him. Just a very simple sign again. A little bit of lights in there. And uh, normally we have a little bit more wood stacked up here, just to, again, to give it that warm, homey look. And also it's functional. Then on the back wall, we have a vintage sled that we've had and just absolutely love the way that that looks. It really pops when we have it hanging on the wall. And then I made a very simple grapevine wreath, just added a little bit of greenery from the backyard to it just to kind of fill that in. And that is, that's it for this area.
In the kitchen, we added just a couple of poinsettias over here on the window seat. On the chandelier, we added some live pine boughs, just a few of them. And then on the table here, we have a centerpiece, and it's just a cake plate, and I put some evergreen boughs on it, a couple of pine cones, and a battery-operated candle. In the coffee nook area, I just put up this little tiny tree here just to give it a little, a little pop of color there and then this little ornament that I made a couple of years ago. That's it for that area. On the counter over by the stove, we just added a couple of Christmas trees by this little zebra. We think that it looks pretty adorable over there. mantle we just hung the stockings up changed out the artwork here added a couple more lights and some boughs and then this year it was something a little different we added some greenery in the stockings until we start to put the gifts in there and then in the fireplace we just put some logs in there and a couple of lights just to make it look festive in this area we just put a couple of battery operated candles out here again because we have the electronics here this is a TV and then we have two Christmas pictures of our grandbabies.